Hello and welcome dear friends. Today we are here to talk about community and its characteristics. To begin with, let me give you a brief introduction of community. The concept of community is very old and can be traced back to the times of Theophrastus. A community also known as biotic community or ecological community or biosynosis refers to a group of coexisting and interacting populations in a given space and time. In other words, it is the biological part of ecosystem distinct from the abiotic part. Now let us talk about community characteristics. There are various characteristics of community such as species diversity, structure and composition, dominance, succession and tropic structure. To study the details of these aspects of any community, there are taken into consideration a number of characters. These various characters are broadly classified into two major categories. A. Analytical characters B. Synthetic characters Analytical characters are those which can be either described or measured, while as synthetic characters are generalizations based on analytical characters. So friends, let us now talk about analytical characters. Analytical characters are of two types, namely qualitative characters which can only be described and not measured and b quantitative characters which are expressed in quantitative terms. First qualitative characters. These include floristic composition that is kinds of species in the community, b stratification of organisms or their parts above or below ground, c periodicity that is phenology aspection. D. Vitality E. Life forms, vegetation, habitat and growth form Sociability or gregariousness G. Association of species Now let me explain these qualitative characters one by one. First, floristic composition. It is the study of composition of vegetation in terms of species present in a particular region to determine the floristic composition in whole community. Periodic collection and identification of plant species is done and the keys, descriptions, habitats, phenology and all other specific characters are recorded. Second is stratification. Stratification or Layering is the occurrence of organisms or their parts at different levels in a community. Stratification usually occurs because life forms such as trees, shrubs, herbs differ in their requirements and amplitudes and therefore grow at various levels which differ in light intensity, temperature, moisture, conditions, organic content of the soil and other factors. Third is periodicity. Periodicity refers to the regular seasonal occurrence of various processes such as photosynthesis, growth, pollination, flowering, ripening of fruits and ripening of seeds and the manifestations of these processes such as formation of leaves, elongation of shoots, appearance of flowers and dissemination of seeds. Fourth is vitality. Vitality is the ability of plant species to complete its life cycle in the prevailing conditions of the community. While vigor refers more specifically to the state of health 
or development within a certain stage. A seedling or mature plant may be vigorous or it may be feeble and poorly developed. Fifth, life form, vegetation form, habitat form or growth form. It is the vegetative appearance of plants based on the size of plants, shape of leaves, branching of stem, crown of foliage, longevity, etc. Rankier classified life forms into five categories. A. Phenerophytes, B. Chemophytes, C. Hemicryptophytes, D. Cryptophytes, E. Therophytes. Let us know about these five categories of life forms. Phenerophytes. Phenero means visible, phytes plants. These are those plants whose buds are situated high upon the plant, on the top of the shoots. These are either naked or covered with scales. Second, chemophytes. These are those plants whose buds are close to ground or up to a maximum 25 centimeters above ground. These plants are found in colder regions at high altitudes or latitudes. Example, temperate America. Hemicryptophytes. These are also found in the cold regions where buds remain covered under surface soil but are not deep seated and are protected. These include annuals, plants which complete their life cycle in one year or one season, or biennial, which complete their life cycle in two years or two seasons. Cryptophytes. These are also known as geophytes. In these plants, the buds remain buried under soil, such as bulbs and rhizomes. Such plants are mostly found in the arid regions of the world. Therophytes. These are the ephemerals or seasonal plants that complete their life cycle quickly under favorable conditions and during the rest of the unfavorable conditions remain in the form of seeds. After life forms, sixth qualitative character is sociability. Sociability refers to the proximity of plants or shoots to one another. It is dependent upon the life form and vigor of the plants, habitat conditions, and competitive and other relations between individuals. Seventh is association of species. Association of species is the growing together of two or more species. Association of species may be brought about by the similarity in the ecological amplitudes of two or more species, similarity in geographic ranges, differences in life form, so that excessive competition is avoided. Dependence of one species upon another for shade or for food, as in parasites, in close proximity to one another. Now, friends, after qualitative characters, let us talk about quantitative characters. These include a population density, that is number of individuals or abundance per unit area, b cover, height of plants, weight of plants, volume occupied by plants, and frequency. First, population density. Population density denotes the number of individual plants or stocks in an area, but in a strict sense, it refers to the number of individuals or stocks in a unit of space. Second is cover. Cover is 
expression of the percentage area of the ground covered or occupied by individuals of a species. It is of two types, a crown cover that is canopy cover in case of trees and herbage cover in case of grassland species, b basal cover that is area of ground actually covered by the foliage or by stems penetrating the soil. Third is height of plants. The height of plants is usually a very good indicator of their condition or vigor and therefore can be employed as a criterion of the success of a species in various habitats. It can also be used as a measure of the favorableness of the environment and is much used by foresters as an index of site quality for various species of trees. Fourth is frequency. Frequency is another important parameter of vegetation analysis which reflects the spread, distribution or dispersion of a species in a given area. For example, a species which is distributed uniformly in an area has greater probability of its occurrence in all quadrants and it would have high frequency. In another case, a species may be clustered or present only in part of the area. In this case, it will occur only in few quadrants and hence it would have lesser frequency. The frequency of a species in a given area is studied by either quadrant method or transects and is calculated by the formula frequency is equal to number of quadrants in which species occurs divided by total number of quadrants laid multiplied by 100. Now let us talk about second major category of community characters that is synthetic characters. Synthetic characters are generalizations or abstractions that are derived from data on analytical qualities and integrate many of the analytical characteristics. They are presence and constants, fidelity, dominance and physiognomy. First, presence and constancy. Presence and constancy refers to how uniformly a species occurs in a number of stands of same type of community. For example, when a species is found in 18 of 20 stands in one community type, the presence or constancy is 90%. Second is fidelity. Fidelity refers to the degree that a species is restricted in its occurrence to a particular kind of community. Those with low fidelity occur in a number of different communities. Those with high fidelity in a few or in only one kind. Third is dominance. Dominance is the characteristic of vegetation which express the predominating influence of one or more species in a stand so that populations of other species are more or less suppressed or reduced in number or vitality. Dominants are those species which are so highly successful ecologically in their relation to the environment and with other species. Last is physiognomy. This is general appearance of vegetation as determined by growth of dominant species such a characteristic 
appearance can be expressed by single term. For example, a simple look to such community of plants where larger trees are dominant with some shrubs would tell that it is a forest. Similarly, on basis of appearance, it may be grassland, desert, etc. Dear friends, this was all about community and its characteristics. Hope you liked it. Thanks.